Hey. The camera's set up. Hang on, hang on. Hold on, where are we? Hey, I can't believe I missed the entire ending of the mission. That's uh, dumb. That is fully functional. SMH. Give me your beret. Turn on the base. Give me south. your beret. Base out. Can you fix now. your face out, guys? Oh, Andy, look Shoot. at the crane. <laughs> Yeah, look at the no, crane. Yeah, look at that busted ass crane. The jet's coming. The jet's coming. That's a non-liminal non crane. I, I got one it. of the jet flying over. Have him do one yeah. more pass. No! Ah! No! no. Uh, it's too late now. Turn the engine off. All right, that was a good one. Do one more pass for us if you can. I'm crippled. All right, that will do. Everyone, get in the picture. Get in the picture. I have the. I have the. I have the Zeus. Fuck you. Hey, Bewato, can you move slightly away from Kabuki? Kabuki-sama, oh. please? Uh, hang on, I can... What? Oh my Thank god, you. please don't do that. It, it don't. makes it hard to see what's coming. I'm coming. Oh no. Light my long got him. Conquering slab. In the sky. I look look good. Good. Oh my god, that's lost. Yeah. Perfect! Alright. I thought we were done. Oh no, it's coming! <laughs> oh! Hello, Jet! Let's not forget 36 wooden sheds. Damn. It Think about how one. many dads' livelihoods are destroyed. Okay, <laughs> so welcome to the after action report. I'm just talking over everyone with priority speaker because fuck you. Fly to the after action. So we are going on and we start with Alpha. You know the you know the drill, alright? Yes. Okay, um I had a lot of fun with this mission. Good mission. Uh Sully did a great job wrangling all of us cards. Um Got a bit annoyed in the middle User when I was trying channel. to coordinate what was left User over, and I'm pretty sure it was just channel. Alpha, a bit of Bravo, and Hammer One. And yeah, like I did ask Hammer One if it was what was going on over on the right. We went to the right. We got a uh, hose down by the ship through trees on the hill somehow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Uh, but other than that, you know, it, it was a good mission. I had fun. I had fun. Wow. Okay, yeah. let's move on to Bravo. Let up. Alright, so um, that op was uh, just a good process. That op was pretty damn great. I had a ton of fun. If I was to get my complaints out of the way first, um, PID was incredibly hard. The enemy infantry looked nearly identical to us. Um, I felt as if if the Russian forces just had like EMR on, it would have, and even like winter vests and just EMR uniforms. That would have helped us a lot with identifying each other and preventing some friendly fire incidents. Another complaint was that Blue Force Tracker, um, you had the LMF and the Ace-1 active, which kind of made a weird overlap. But that's pretty that's pretty much it, it for complaints. Electro was so much goddamn fun. Um, my squad, who were lovely by the way, uh, we basically soloed it until the rest got there, and uh, we killed a ton of guys. Um... The boat was very fun. I had a bad accident with a grenade, I'm sure most of you guys know that. Bradley! That wasn't my fault. And, um, <laughs> I'd like to thank Sully because um, one man took on the job of FAC, armor coordinator, and infantry coordinator. And that's not an easy task. Most people don't really consider it a possible task, so um, I'd like to thank him for making that a really good experience. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say, and uh, does anybody in my squad have anything else to say? Mow. Freethinkers when you get in cat. Alright. Freethinkers when Valiant cat meows. Let's move on to Charlie. Lanky. 
Um, uh, hello, that's me. I am Charles. Charles, uh, John Charlie. Uh, Charles Murnay. <laughs> uh, yeah, tonight's op was uh, pretty fucking fun. Uh, uh, commanding my boys was, as usual, uh, a lot of fun. I have no complaints at all with who was in my squad. Everybody did great. Uh, Neelix was a good medic, Radeon did his best as team leader, Neo and uh, Devaka were good gunners, and so-and-so, so it, it was all very good, very good, very nice, I'm happy. Uh, just a few um, oversights in the op made, uh, you know, things fucking bad. Uh, do you uh, mind Valiant's count? Like to how, speak? uh... <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... We should give Valiant's count priority speaker. <laughs> like uh, how uh, RHS vehicles like the BMD are put up against uh, basically invulnerable vanilla vehicles, or uh, how can... or how the CRAM uh, engaged us whilst we were moving down the hill and destroyed our Unimog, so we got promptly <laughs> surrounded by an IFD and a Fennec and an infantry truck. So, Lanky, I can, as mission as Dusa can comment on two things there. I I think yeah, I've learned. Yeah, uh, sorry, Skibbon. Let's put it at the end so we can get through the other squads as well. I was also going to say the uh, optics that we got were okay, but uh, they could have been better. Like, uh, I just took off the reflex sight immediately for the AN-94 because the uh, the actual lines on the reticle were way too wide to actually engage anybody accurately. You can change that, by the way. I'm too fucking stupid, though, so uh, tough tits. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah, also, I think... Um... Maybe our MG team should have had a dedicated AT guy. Uh, having people carry around like 45 kilos worth of gear uh, is kind of bad. Especially since our RPG 26s would just sneeze. I can't fucking concentrate tank. on anything but the <laughs> goddamn <laughs> <can. laughs> <laughs> 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 Anyway, does anybody have anything to say in my squad? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, I actually, yeah. sorry, but I actually had an issue 2 3, which was pretty nice optic. Oh, don't you know why. my squad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um. Oh, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the cat. So, uh, okay, I anyways. the cat. So, um, I was medic, and it was, it was fairly stressful, but it was also fun, actually. Like, I mean, as, as much as we got fucked up really bad, and, like, we as a player, like, a unit, you know, the entire force got fucked up by like the Sea Wiz and all that. Having to, you know, at several points, I just ran off from the squad. I'm like, I need to go and bandage another squad that's just been just ass blasted. Um, so, as much as it was stressful, that was fun. But uh, also, I'm pretty sure that because we almost, we looked almost identical to the enemy, I probably did a few friendly fires and I'm sorry. That's all I have to say. Okay. Um, let's go to Delta so we can wrap things up. Uh, alright, well, ours is pretty simple. Um, rockets were fun. Uh, squad was good. Slee was a good medic. Uh, Demonic and Jordy went above and beyond in terms of blowing shit up. I kind of wish I our re- team attack. <laughs> hey, the team attack worked, but anyway, uh... One thing I will I wanted to ask Script is where the fuck did our resupplies go? Um, uh, were they I can just tell flying you straight over? Up. I can tell you straight up. Part of it was the helicopter. Again, mission. we can't do this at the end when the mission makers. Has we spent been. like ten minutes at that damn waiting for a resupply. I want to know why it, that didn't happen. So. Lomo. Put okay. it in. Yeah. Uh, Keep going. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just to kind of wrap up, things yeah. are great. Kind of wish we were moving. Uh, yeah, also sucks that I crashed at the end. But hey, I shot somebody, so life is good. I killed 26 people. So let's go to Hammer 1, Perundas. I killed 30 minutes. Yes, uh, today I learned to embrace the pain and love it. So it started off strong with Exobit just going on a quick vacation to Altus, but never mind that part. Uh, this was interesting. I'm not gonna blame Sully for that or anybody for this matter, but organization just didn't exist. And for the lack of organization that we had, it went surprisingly well. We had some places where 
organization was just completely gone and yet we kind of kept moving somehow i i'd rather have more coherent like uh, more coherent structure but i mean again it's just what we have today it's fine uh about the leopard fuck the leopard it both hammers were immediately eviscerated on the first objective because of one leopard that we didn't see coming that just came for us and destroyed our asses other times we were we i really felt vulnerable like it we got shot by anything and either i was down exhibit was down or the entire crew was dead because the vehicle is currently smoldering asteroid flying into the atmosphere cooking asteroid yeah it didn't i mean that part wasn't that great also squads kept on trying to get in realized that we didn't have enough seats and held us up for like minutes at a time because hold on we can't get in no we cannot no we can't get in no we cannot while i was screaming get the fuck off my vehicle <laughs> yeah not just multiple people did that at least two so all in all i'd say it was okay apparently exhibit felt less okay about it that, that's his opinion uh, the op itself, I think if we had a bit more people, especially if we actually had a properly four people in platoon, it would have gone a lot better and a lot smoother. But, I mean, it still went okay. That's all that I have to say for that. Alright, in the nick of time, let's go to Hammer 2, Leak. So, uh, yeah, pretty much the same experience there, uh, for the most part, it's kind of disorganized, but we get the thing. Uh, the leopards were definitely a problem, because, you know, EMDs are made of aluminum, they don't stop shit. Also, uh, we had some radio issues after the second time we died, and pretty much couldn't reach anyone. And we only got the radios back by the time we got to Electro. But, yeah, other than that, it was fine. Okay, let's go to the pilots, back it. Yeah, I had fun. I can't, I can't speak for Crow Guy, but most of my CBT was because I fucked up a lot of times. But I hope we could at least, yeah, I hope we could at least be useful for the ground team. When I went 10,000 feet in the air trying to dodge 18 missiles and three gripers. I, I think you took out the, that leopard that I raised, and that was happy. Uh, okay, that was me. Nice. Uh, <laughs> from my perspective, <laughs> nice, anyway. <laughs> from my perspective, I felt like I was pulling like so much fucking weight today when I didn't expect to. Like because pilot guy, I feel is the better pilot. But the, he's really good. The name is. Yeah, but I'm kind of sad about going in as a cash loader because I feel like going in as air support. I mean, anti-air would have been better initially. Yeah, I found myself I'm running interference for Koga a lot of the time. Like, you did good. Yeah, and also, like, we just kept getting shot down, which was like a nice piece of shit. But, I mean, what, whatever, we killed a lot of people, and a lot of shit, so... Yeah, if also, I ever rework this, no more F-22s is scraping than A-10s. Also, I crashed out because RHS fucking bugged the shit when I got shot down. It was excellent. Also, for those who don't know yet, because we had someone who didn't know, GSRS, specifically the Russian compad, breaks the RPK. So, yep. don't use that one. Good. Then, let's just keep moving on to Leica, our logistics. Yeah, there wasn't any logistics this one. Um, I couldn't get any, anywhere close to any of the squads, because uh, they kept getting shot down by the enemy planes, or the sea was on the, um, the destroyer that was in the dock. Uh, that's about it. Oh, real quick, can I just tell you? Uh, no. Multiple times? Okay. <laughs> No, yeah. there are still platoon issues in Mission Maker enough that we have open mic. We are slacking on this, so just kind of whipping you on this. Okay, let's go with platoon issue. That is Sully. Hey guys. Um, that was, a, that, was a, that was an experience, huh? Uh, too fitting. That was quite something. Too fair. I, I was expecting to want to put a gun in my mouth by the end of this, but surprisingly, for the sacred text of Game Face, I, I feel enlightened and ready to take on the next thing but uh you everybody did really well today uh there was a couple of annoying radio things but that's just duplex and terrain loss and all that shit 
Um, somehow being cut off when someone isn't even in radio range of me is always fun. But outside of that, it I think today went really well, surprisingly. Um, I didn't have a lot of hope sort of on the get-go, but everybody did really well to sort of keep moving. Um, you know, I don't think anybody was expecting it to be as smooth as it probably did go today. So, yeah, I'm really happy. Script was a good mission. Only bit of feedback I've got is just the one for eight was probably a bad move. I lost contact with the air units a lot, so maybe one one sevens would have been better. But overall, I, I enjoyed platoon leading and backing and crying. So uh, let's do it again sometime. You can do it next right. time. Well, let's go with Mission Maker Script. Hi, Script here. Uh, I'm glad most of you all enjoyed the mission. Uh, for those of all you who had a rough, more of a rough time, I'm sorry about that, and I'll try and improve in the future. I definitely think the balance issues were overlooked by me because of how I made this op, and I'll have to try and not like lose motivation halfway through making it and then sort of slap it together in the end to make it work. I gotta get better about that, but uh, yeah, I think definitely logistics, no more Helleborn in a mission like this. You, I probably should have given it like a tracked vehicle or like a MRAP for Logi and uh, had it drop for everyone else. And I probably should have given some stalker IFEs from Vanilla instead of the uh, BMB4A. But other than that, um, Warning, I'm, glad people altitude. Have fun. A lot, I'm glad that a lot of the issues of this mission are more of like asset selection type stuff rather than like really significant design issues. I'll have to see in the future if I can get the SeaWiz shit and that kind of thing not to engage infantry as much because in testing it didn't seem to be that aggressive about it, but with lambs and all that, I should have realized that it would be like, oh, I see a tiny little speck of dirt on the ground and radar, I'll just mow it down. I think it mostly engaged vehicles, actually. Yeah, because it's easy on radar. Um, beyond that, uh, I'm glad everyone had fun, and I hope to see some like footage and screenshots and stuff in the after action. And for those of you who joined late, I'm glad some of y'all got to experience the end, because... I put that ship and everything in there so that even if people were like running behind or having a rough time, they'd have some uh, nice breach and clear action in the end. It's very fun. The bad name was probably the most stupid thing I've ever done. Speaking of, I have footage of that. Also, also, I would like to I would like to throw a special. Uh, Simcast is not here, but I'd like to throw a special thanks to Simcast because they uh, they not only found and killed Miller, they encountered uh, Captain Price in the ship. So. And got two safety notes for hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so real quick, can I, uh... We can go before the mic, so we can speak. Script, uh, Why did you make script. me shit myself when I went up the stairs and saw okay, a turret in the floor? Script. <laughs> script, I want to thank you for one thing, and one thing very specifically. Making me an engineer. If I'd have to wait for Kilo, I'd still be there at the electrical no, plant. No, I, I think it's always good practice to have, uh, screwmen be able to work on their vehicles to some extent. I, yeah, I, I called for Kilo twice. Both times it took so long and it was quicker for me to just fix it myself. I'm sorry, Kilo. <laughs> I wanted to give you something to do, but to it be just fair, didn't happen. It's on, Kilo's on me because I gave them an asset that was not appropriate for the situation and they got kind of fucked because of it. Speaking of repairing and fixing things, why no. the fuck were my supply drops missing? I don't know. I honestly have no clue what was going on supply drops. I thought I implemented them properly, but maybe I didn't. I don't know. The only thing that mystified me was about three quarters of the way through the op, I'm watching. Crow guy and pilot like guy get their air, their airships started at the airfield and taken off again. And then I hear a massive crash at the end of the airstrip, off in the woods. I look over, Warning. and there's a T-95 that's materialized out of thin air, exploding at the end of the runway. With a mushroom cloud. And I'm like, what? And then, a f like a minute later, another one happens on the other end of the runway, off in the woods. For no we're, apparent reason. We're using them for the airdrop? I... Fuck, maybe I did. That might have been it. Fuck. Warning. Yeah, that would explain it. Yeah. Warning. Altitude. Oh, well, I guess we know where the airdrop went. 